In Ireland, we have three major parties, being Fine Gael, Fianna Fáil and Sinn Féin, with a second tier of parties including the Greens, the Social Democrats, Labour and Solidarity PVP, who although with almost no chance of getting a majority, they can significantly influence the bigger parties and often hold the balance of power for forming coalition governments. In this video, we will look at the fringe parties in Ireland that have little or no political representation. So let's explore who they are, what they stand for, and why they continue to exist. For the sake of this video, I will be covering parties who got at least 1,000 first preference votes in the 2020 general election. This leaves us with a list of seven parties, being Aintu, Independence for Change, Right to Change, Irish Freedom, Renewa, the National Party and the Workers' Party. Just a quick side note, there was an 8th party who received 2,600 first preference votes in 2020 called the Irish Democratic Party. However, they are no longer registered, so I won't be including them. I will start off by looking at the largest of these fringe parties, Aintu. Aintu was founded in 2019 by Pader Tobin, following a split with Sinn Féin over the abortion referendum. The party is seen as a conservative party, due to its anti-abortion and socially conservative stances. However, it advocates for left-wing views on economics and migration. It proposes an increase in state spending on social housing and an end to zero-hour contracts. It holds one seat in the Dáil, Ireland's lower house of parliament, and three seats on local councils. The majority of its support comes from Mead, with the constituencies of Mead East and Mead West providing almost a quarter of its 41,000 first preference votes in the 2020 general election. Aintu is also active in the north of Ireland, holding two seats on local councils. The next party is Independence for Change, which was founded in 2014. It received a total of 8,400 first preference votes and got one seat in the Dáil in the 2020 general election. However, the elected representative, Joan Collins, left the party to found a new party called Right to Change. Independence for Change advocate for socialism. Some notable members of the party include Mick Wallace and Claire Daly, who represent Independence for Change in the European Parliament. They also hold three seats on local councils as of the 2019 local council elections. The height of support for independence for change came during the European elections in 2019, when they received over 120,000 votes or 7.4% of first preference votes across the whole country. Now we'll move on to the Irish Freedom Party, led by Herman Kelly. It is a right-wing Eurosceptic party that advocates for an immediate Irish withdrawal from the European Union. The party was founded in late 2018, however it did not run a candidate in the 2019 local elections, despite claiming on their website that Mairead Donovan would run for the party in Kerry. The Irish Times newspaper later reported that no such person existed, and the photograph of Mairead Donovan on the party website was a stock photograph. For the 2019 European elections, the party intended to run candidates. However, due to a mistake in their registration form, they missed the deadline to register the party for the election. Because of this, the party's candidates had to run as independents. None of these candidates got elected. However, the most successful of these was Dolores Cahill, who received just over 10,000 first preference votes. To successfully got their affairs in order to run candidates under the Irish Freedom Party banner in the 2020 general election. However, they only received about 5,000 first preference votes nationwide. Other than advocating an Irish exit from the EU, they stand as a patriotic party. They want to lower taxes and promote freedom of speech. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, they have spoken at and organised anti-lockdown and anti-vaccination rallies. The Irish Freedom Party currently hold no seats at a local or national level. The fourth party is Renewa, founded in 2015 by former Fine Gael TD Lucinda Creighton. 
Upon its founding, Renua gained members who defected from Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil. It is an anti-abortion party, however, they agreed to support the passing of the abortion referendum as long as it was safe, legal and rare. They are opposed to further EU integration, especially in relation to taxation and military affairs. They ran 11 candidates in the 2020 general election, receiving just over 5,000 first preference votes. No Renewa candidate won a seat. They currently have no representation in local or national government following the resignation from the party of John Leahy, who was a councillor for Offaly County Council. The fifth fringe party is the National Party. Founded in 2016 and led by Justin Barrett, the National Party is a far-right party, who, although don't advocate withdrawing from the EU, they seek a renegotiation of Ireland's position within it and seek Irish withdrawal from the Eurozone, which is 19 countries who use the Euro as their currency. They run on a right-wing populist anti-immigration, anti-Islam platform. They oppose same-sex marriage and advocate for the reintroduction of the death penalty. During the abortion referendum, they campaigned for a no vote. During the 2020 general election, they received around 4,700 first preference votes. They have no representation at any level. The sixth party is the Workers' Party. Led by Michael Donnelly, it is a Marxist-Leninist party that advocate for communism in Ireland. The height of its support was in the 1989 general election, when it gained seven seats in Dáil Éireann. The collapse of the Soviet Union, however, caused a major split in the party from which it never recovered. It received around 1,200 first preference votes in the 2020 general election, however, they did not get any seat in the Dáil. They have one representative at a local government level elected on Cork City Council. The final party on the list is Right to Change, who although they did not take part in the 2020 general election, I have decided to include them as they have one seat in the Dáil. Right to Change is a left-wing progressive party founded in 2020 by Joan Collins, who left a previously mentioned party Independence for Change. They have one seat in the Dáil, however have not yet contested any other elections. These parties have very little chance of ever getting a majority in an election. Many voters simply do not even consider them as either they view them as a wasted vote or consider their views too extreme. They still however do serve a democratic function by giving voters an alternative. If you found this video interesting please consider subscribing to the channel for more Irish history and political content in the future.